My dear sisters and brothers, may the Lord fill you with his peace and love. Amen. Today, as we gather together, reflecting on the word of God, which speaks direct to each one of us, we hear from the first king, about the dream and the vision. And the issue about the dream and vision, we hear them uh, often in the scriptures. And we can uh, have such uh, example, wide example like Jacob's dream, Joseph's dream. And uh, these kind of dreams, they were carrying a kind of message from the Lord to his people. And today we hear Solomon in a dream is asked the question by God to ask anything he, wa he wanted, anything he wished, and it would be given. And Solomon with humility, he said, O Lord, my God, you made me your servant king to succeed my father David. But I'm a mere youth, not knowing how to act. I save you in the midst of many people. Give your servant an understanding heart to judge your people and to distinguish right from wrong. And God praised him. He said, you never asked for long life. You never ask things for yourselves because you have been thinking for others, sacrificing for others, and you are there for others to save others as Christ did. He did not come to be saved, but to save. Whatever you have asked, I'm going to grant to you. And no one before you or after you will have such a great wisdom. And God granted him that great wisdom. A listening heart. Solomon prayed for a listening heart, a humble heart. Let's see the characteristics of a good heart. A good heart is the heart that feels for others, rejoices with others, feels the pain with the others. Is the heart that know how to sacrifice for others is the heart that is for the service of others and above all for God. It is a heart that does not look on its own gain or interest. It has no jealousy within itself. And the heart that does not know division the heart that has no resentment is a heart that similar to that of Christ. In the gospel we hear about the three parables, the parable of a hidden treasure and the, of great pearl and then of the dragnet. A hidden treasure and the great pearl gives us the meaning of a total surrendering to God for his love, for protection and general security, for our body and spirit. The disciples possesses Jesus, who is more than any price we may think of, even in the midst of persecution in a hostile world. Whenever we meet Jesus, we encounter him. He's the only precious gift which God has given to us. More than anything we may think of. When we possess him, we possess everything. And the dragnet, he talks about the last day. 
when a fisherman or anyone who fishes will go for fishing, when he throws the dragnet, the dragnet catches everything, the bad and the good. So it talks about how the fisherman, after fishing, he will separate the good ones, put them in the bucket, and the bad ones will throw them away. So that will happen also on the last day, when God will send his angels to separate us from the good one, the righteous one, and the wicked one. So let us reflect together on today's word of God. Where am I? Am I among the wicked ones or the righteous one? If I'm among the wicked ones, God has given us the chance to repent. God has given us the chance to go and be reconciled with him, to change our lives completely. And if we're the righteous one, then we're encouraged to continue cultivating and grow in holiness so that we may one day be with our God in heaven. And as, let us also together ask for wisdom for the heart that understands others, the heart that loves others, the heart that forgives, and the heart that cherishes others. May the Lord fill us with his peace and love. Amen.